And welcome back to uh, Tip and Gymnasium. We get set for game number two tonight. It's already a winner this evening. It was Carn City knocking off North Clarion in the girls' uh, first game, 37-36 on the uh, final shot there at the buzzer, and it was uh, Brooklyn Taylor nailing that one. She was our player of the game. She was surprised, too. Like, afterwards, they announced her name. She was like, what? She was. She was looking around like, <laughs> me? For what? <laughs> I, I really? <laughs> I think she thought she was in trouble at first. <laughs> I think so, too. It's probably like at school when you're called, you're like, what did I do? <laughs> so, but here we go. Game number two on the way. Red Bank Valley going to take on Clarion area here in the uh, nightcap tonight to see who takes on Carn City in that final. Uh, two teams displayed here not long ago. Carnes, or Red Bank got the upper hand in that first game. Uh, we had a chance. Actually, Tyler was sitting by. Um, by uh, it was uh, Kylie Har or Miley Harmon because Tyler's over here going what? But she gave us some really good information because I always ask questions, you know. And I said about the court. We talked about that in game one. You know that big space behind the hoops. Does it affect you? She said no. She goes, but the bigger court's great because we like to run. So we had talked about that earlier. And, uh, of course, Tyler introduced her to professional wrestling, which he hadn't <laughs> seen before. But, uh, no, but it's interesting when you talk to the players and you always ask them, like, you know, what's going on and um, as far as these teams, uh, you know, on, on this court and playing on this court and was this a neat perspective. So we are in the Carly Tire pregame show for this one. And while Lexus, uh, like I said, both these teams have just played uh, about a week or two ago. Red Bank had the upper hand. But in games like this, though, we just saw anything can happen. Absolutely. It can be a close game to the end. You know, I haven't seen Clarion play yet this year. I'm excited to see what they can do and what they have and what they can hold Red Bank to. All right, we'll take a time out here, and we're going to come back out to Tip and Jim. We're going to look at keys to the game, get you set up with players and all that as well. Carly Tire pregame show will continue. It's Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops. Here at the KSAC semifinals, it is Red Bank Clarion on the EYT Media Network. Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to Sweet Basil. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64, Interstate 80 in Clarion. A division of M&B Group is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. 
Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All-American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All-American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. And welcome back here to Tippin Gymnasium. And there's Clarion area warming up at the far side of the gym here as they get set to take on Red Bank Valley tonight. We're the Carly Tire pregame show. Why don't we take a look here at some of uh, the Gatesman's Auto Body keys to the game brought to you by Lexus. That almost sounds like it's brought to you by a car. I like that. I'm named after a car because That's I'm right. just that fancy. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. All right. With your keys to the game for Red Bank, they've had a tremendous season this year. You know, undefeated in the KSAC 17-5 and five overall in the regular season. They clearly know what they're doing and how to work together. Coming into the game with a strong mindset to play the game that they, that they know is important. Um, Red Bank does play a good tight defense, not allowing other teams to score. Um, on the offensive side of things, they need to work Clarion's defense and take the outside shots. And of course, they know to drive to the hoop when there's an open lane. As far as Clarion, they need to play the best game that they know and disrupt the tempo of Red Bank. On defense, they really need to put the pressure on Red Bank and take away the open shots and get in the passing lane to create the turnovers. Red Bank's pretty smooth from the foul line, so it's important for Clarion to be careful on defense and stay out of foul trouble. On offense, Clarion should look to take the open shots that they're given, and if they can't, drive to the hoop. If Clarion can make Red Bank start slow, they have a chance to take control of the game early. All right, there you go. Great job that time, Lexus, as uh, those are the Gatesman's Auto Body keys to the game. And see what you think each of these teams need to do. And uh, Clarion, too, when you look at the roster size, one of the smaller rosters um, around the league, uh, they have 10 girls listed on the varsity roster. And uh, so that, uh, you know, they... I uh, haven't had a chance to see Clarion this season so far. We've been all over the place. So our first look here in this uh, semifinal game, and we'll see how they do go to that bench and things like that if it's something that they're able to do. Uh, for Red Bank, though, they do have girls. You'll see them work in uh, from time to time. Uh, but uh, this team, they like to go. You said it there. Red Bank likes to run, and that's going to be where Clarion really needs to be able to slow things down. Absolutely. and. Running is, clear, or running is Red Bank's game. That's all they know. Even when they set it up, they're still moving fast. And it's always, too, you always see the coaches on both of these sides. Where's Chris Edmonds and stuff? He'll plead with them sometimes. Please, just last shot. Nope, it ain't going to happen. They want the last shot and the next to the <laughs> last the shot the last and the one before that. And everything else. <laughs> and you have to imagine Coach Sam Heater from Clarion's excited to play, yep. you know, against the Red Bank girls being from there. So it should be a fun night tonight. As we get set for game number two here from Tip and Jim, John Calipari Court. The officials are getting ready here, and we'll have Dave Cadis coming up with the uh, introductions and all that good stuff. See, we have our anthem singer ready to go to over there. Nice job, that first one. I love the, that was, I like different. And that the it guitar was different, was, it was, was unique. Really and the fact that it was a student playing it, yep. even better. Now, it was last year we had the middle school student from uh, Clarion Limestone on the trumpet. Yep. That was I remember nice. that. I like that. Well, let's go to Mr. Cadis over at the scorer's table. The league would like to thank each and every one of you for attending this evening's games. All proceeds will be used for scholarships given to athletes from each KSAC school in the league at the end of the year, along with awards presented throughout the fall, winter, and spring sports seasons. You may also contribute to our scholarship fund by purchasing some 50-50 tickets on sale in the lobby. One lucky winner's ticket will be drawn during the third quarter of this game. Your away team for tonight's semifinal game is Clarion in the dark color jerseys. 
Your home team is Red Bank Valley in the white jerseys. Paid admission to this event entitles you to enjoy an exhibition of skills developed by the student athletes. Please give them your positive encouragement. Booing, taunting, and intimidating the officials and or opponents is unfriendly and unacceptable. Please stay off the court at all times. Game management will enforce the requirement that anyone not wearing a shirt will not be permitted to enter the event. Anyone removing a shirt during the contest will be required to leave the contest facility. The presence and or use of balloons, banners, noise makers, pom poms by spectators, shakers, handheld sides, towels, and whistles are strictly prohibited. Your officials for tonight's contest are Chris Stiglitz, Colin Gazer, and Ron Walter. This is where you applaud. Please rise for the singing of our national anthem by Emily Nicewalker from Red Bank Valley. And gentlemen, we ask you kindly to remove your hats. Again, uh, starting lineups here on EYT brought to you by uh, Janie Montgomery Scott. Getting set for the start here at uh, Clarion's Tip and Gym, game number two. Hope it's ex as exciting as game number one. It's always exciting. That's the right. 
tournament. That's fun. Yeah. Nice crowd on hand tonight. Uh, tomorrow night we're back at it with all the boys' action. Dustin Kiefer will be here. Dustin Kiefer just just a step below me. As of right now, uh, that's where I'm putting him. <laughs> yeah. He might put himself there too. <laughs> Clarion's out and ready. They're ready to go. Yeah, Coach Heater. Getting ready over there. You see him directing some traffic there for his team. Bond in the middle, and Klein gets set for the jump, and here we go. Tip is controlled by Clarion. So here we go for Clarion. That is uh, Sophie Babington with that basketball to the right side. Alston and, uh, over there. Dumps that down in to the baseline. Klein with it. Alston driving. Alston lost that basketball, ripped away by Bonanno. Here's uh, Hartman. Hartman loves to go, kicks it out. <clears throat> Comes up top. Bond with a three-pointer. How about Izzy Bond? Isabella Bond for three. What a great way to start the game for Red Bank. First quarter sponsor is Kale's Kitchens. So Red Bank coming out on that high 2-3 two, two, that they play. Ball dumped into the paint, but it's going to be taken away again. Here comes Harmon. Harmon, one-on-one on Alston. Harmon spinning around. Harmon's shot doesn't go. Rebound by Bonanno. The putback go does. Bonanno big on the boards, and it's quickly 5-0. 5-10 across the timeline. Clarion is the fourth seed here in the tournament. Driving into the lane, Alston lost it, picked up by Klein. Klein's going to take a dribble. She's got to watch. I get that three-second call. Gets out of there. Shot on the way from the corner. No good. And the ball's going to be rebounded there by Addison Bond. Here's Izzy. And Izzy's going to travel. So first turnover there. See Red Bank coming up to play the pressured defense. Brian. It was a nice job. They pass to the middle. Get out of it. Alston dumped it down into the paint, but it's going to be taken away. But a foul is going to be rung up here on Clarion. Chris Edmonds' team undefeated in the league in the regular season, 17-5 and five overall. Clarion at 6-3 in the regular season, 13-9 was their overall record. Here comes Harmon. Deep shot by Harmon. That's a three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound underneath. Bonanno puts it up strong. That doesn't go. Fight for the ball. Who's going to get it? Goes out of bounds, and it goes to Clarion. Red Bank does a great job underneath being there for their own offensive rebounds. Babington to inbound. That is Gia Babington to the middle to Alston. Down the court it goes. Stole it away. That was Carrico with the steal. Here's Harmon shaking and baking in the paint. Harmon. Turns around, kicks it up top, dumps it down underneath. Bonanno rejected that time by Klein. What a block. That was a nice, clean block. Here's uh, Babington up top to Alston. Bounce pass to right side, down to the corner it goes. Babington driving into the paint, has it ripped away. Harmon kicks it ahead. Here comes Addison Bond. Addie Bond in the paint. Around the defense, shot good. 7-0. Here for Red Bank. And we get to travel here called on Alston. So Coach Heater saying, just you calm have, down. You have to wonder if he's going to want to take a timeout early in the game to kind of get them reset and relaxed. Vaughn inbounds to Harmon. Addy Bond driving down to that corner. Comes back up top to Harmon. Red Bank here very patient. They've got that 7-0 lead. Okay, Red Bank has no problem just relaxing and waiting for the pressure defense. Harmon comes in, and we're going to get a foul up top. They're going to get a Durish on this one. So two fouls here against uh, Clarion. Take the ball to bounce underneath the basket here. Ball comes into Harmon, dumps it right back in the paint, but it's going to be taken away. Good tip away. Alston was there. 
So here comes Clarion. They're down seven nothing. Couple possessions. You're back in this ball game. Gia Babington has it tipped away. Driving, dumps it down in. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll stay. Or goes to Red Bank Valley. They say it went off the Clarion. <coughs> Here's Harmon. We need to turn up Tyler's mic sometime. I think we should. <laughs> Long shot taken from the left side. Izzy Bonds up the side of the rim. Here's Alston with the rebound. And here comes Clarion. So it's Good time for Clarion to come down with, without the pressured defense in the backcourt. Just need to get those first points. Get that monkey off their back. Once you're on the board, it helps it tremendously. Sure does. Babington, Gia... And Sophie, here's Gia. Back over to Sophie. Sophie driving in, kicks it over to the left side. Alston with a shot. It's off the front of the rim. No good. The ball's going to be tipped. Oh, Klein's there for the rebound, but throws it too far up top. And that ball's going to go out of bounds, or it's going to be an over and back before it can. Media so we have our first uh, time on here. 348 to go in the first. 7 0 Red Bank leads. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops, KSAC Championships on EYT. All right, here we go. After that media timeout, 7 nothing. Red Bank Valley leads Clarion here in the first quarter. Kale's Kitchen's first here on EYT, KSAC Championships. And uh, Carn or, uh, Carn City. Red You're still Bank stuck on that game. Oh, I am. That was a good one. Ball in that corner. Dumped inside to Bonanno. Fight for the ball. Bonanno's going to rip it away up top. Here's Addie Bond. Kicks it out to Harmon. Harmon spinning around in that corner. Comes up top, Izzy Bond driving. Bond tried to pass it in the paint. Bonanno's going to fight for it, comes up with it. Ball down into Harmon. Harmon spins around, shot by Harmon. Good boy, is she smooth inside. Molly Harmon. Her, Her first, first points. Point. Oh. Great minds think alike. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Starting to get like Bob and I. We used to always do that. Well, that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> Alston. As uh, Harmon ripping that ball, or stealing that ball away. Here's Harmon, right up to the hoop, basket good. Harmon quickly, four Harman. points. She's out playing the game she knows. Good for Clary, they just need to get some points on the board Absolutely. here. Alston, driving, puts it up. Foul's gonna be called here on Bonanno, and so they'll get a shot here, coming up to the line. Will be Alston to shoot. Also number two for Red Bank, Kara Bonanno. This gives them a great chance to even just get one on the board. Mm -hmm. Team foul, number one. Good. Taylor Olsen at the line. Stick that front of the rim. Seven for Larry and Olivia Deal, number 14, Lacey Lauer. For Red Bank, number 12, Hadley Hagen. So Deal and Lauer in here for Clarion. Here's uh, Olsen's second shot. On the way, and this time she nails that one. So they get their point. 11-1 here, the score. 2.35 to go here in the first quarter. It's a good point to break up that run, that 11-0 run. Ball kick to the right side. Bond's going to dump it into Bonanno. Bonanno, big move to the board, shot and off the mark. Oh, good job by Alston, the sky for that rebound. Here's Babington. Back over to Alston. 
Alston in the lane. Alston dumps it underneath. Wide open shot by a deal is good. That was a great look underneath. So how about Clarion on a 3-0 run? Here's Bonanno up top. Shot taken by Bond is on the way. It's off the mark. Bonanno's there. Bonanno passes off, and the shot is good by Addison, ba Addison Bond. Bond there. Makes four for her in the game. Here's Babington underneath. Shot by Klein. How about Klein taking it strong to the hole? Marley Klein. 13-5. They're starting to pick things up here a little bit. They have the points on the board. They're ready to go. Harmon wanted the three, didn't get it. And there's Alston for the rebound. Ball's going to be tipped out of bounds. Tyler got a little nervous down there. I know. You saw Miley smile. She goes, he was picking on me the other yeah. night. I'm going to get She's even She's coming at him. <laughs> here we go, 13-5. Red Bank with the lead. A minute 11 to go here in the first. Alston, to pick from Klein to the right side to Lauer. Lauer on the baseline. And is there a foul down there? Yep. Okay. Not sure who they're calling it on right now. Well, they're going to say what, Bonanno? I believe so. Okay, so up at the line is. Oh, they're no, taking the ball to bounds. Kara Bonanno, that's her second. Team foul number two. So taking the ball to bounds is Lauer. Lauer gets that in to Babington. Lauer in the corner. Lauer kicks it up top. Now to the right side. Alston, she's got the shot on the way. It's just off the mark. Rebound. It's Darian pulled down here. Got some good ball movement up there. Driving. And this time it is a foul going to be called as Harmon took it strong. So Harmon will get a couple of opportunities from the free throw line. Team foul number three. 43 seconds to go here in the first. Molly Harmon at the line for Red Bank Shaw, two shots. First shot, used the front of the rim, got it to go. Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is our free throw sponsor. Substitution for Redback, number 50, Carly Nicewalker. Nicewalker comes in and she's ready to go. Second shot good as well there by Harmon. Six in the game for her. Ten-point lead from Red Bank here. This is Lauer. Taking that shot off the front of the rim, no good. Put back by Klein is no good. They tipped out of bounds. It'll stay Clarion ball. You have to wonder, too, if Clarion's kind of getting tripped up with the three-point lines and playing out a little further yep. than they're used to. And you can see that, too, where they're shooting. They're behind the college right. men's line. That's a deep shot. Ball stolen away. And then Bond tried to save it, but it goes out of bounds. Back to Clarion. It was a good hustle on her part. And it will take them a few games to adjust. Oh, Absolutely. Ball stolen away. Carrick almost got the steal, but here comes Babington. Babington underneath to Durish. Back up top it goes. That's Lauer deep beyond that she arch. She thought about it. Oh, she looked yeah. like it. Ball to the left side. Sophie Babington. Lauer down to the corner it goes. Shot taken by Gia. Babington is off the mark. Hartman's there for the bound, and that does it in for the first quarter. 15-5 is where we stand. We'll take a timeout. You're watching Laura Lye Clinic. Hoops, it's just our KSAC championships right here on EYT. Looking for a new Bobcat tractor? Northeastern Equipment Sales and Rentals has inventory on the lot, ready to be loaded up so you can get to work on tough jobs. Check out Bobcat of Clarion at 1214 East Main Street in Clarion. 
Well, we go to quarter number two here in the second game tonight of the uh, girls' semifinals of the Keystone Shortway Conference Championships. Our second quarter sponsor is Bauer Wagner Properties. 15-5, Red Bank with a 10-point lead. Took Clarion a little while to get on board, but then they put together a couple nice runs there. Uh, a couple nice uh, scoring opportunities for them. And they got a quarter under their belt with the, the bigger court, so hopefully that will allow them to kind of readjust where they need to. Red Bank will take the ball to bounds as we get started. It is Izzy Bond to bring it in, and here we go. Gets it into Addy Bond, and we're ready for quarter number two. Here's Bond on that left side. Good stop down there. Comes back up top. Driving into the lane. And yeah, the runner's off the mark that time. It was she by the Hagen. Red, red idea. She saw mm -hmm. the open lane. So Hagen in there for Red Bank here as we start the quarter two. Ball up top. Right side, Babington. G and Sophie. Now Gia with it. Left side, Lauer. Bounce pass in the paint. Klein kicks it back up top. And the travel is going to be called here on Gia Babington. Those happy feet will get you. Mm -hmm. They were moving the ball around well, looking for that seam, trying to get it inside. Harmon will bring it up the court here for the Bulldogs. Harmon. Babington on her defensively over to Addy Bond. Bond's going to take the deep three-pointer. It's off the back of the rim. Rebound by Klein. We're going to get a push on the rebound. And they're going to call that push, I believe, on Nicewanger. Yep. Foss number 50, Carly Nicewanger. That's her first. So, Red Clarion will bring the ball in here. They trail by 10. About a minute gone here in the quarter. No scoring so far. Good defensive on both sides. Mm -hmm. Gia to Klein. <coughs> Lost it. Ball's loose. Home. There's Harmon. Harmon dribbles right out of it. Here's Harmon taking it right down the court. Harmon driving and the layup good. Miley Harmon. <coughs> Harmon, a junior. One of those girls I saw from her freshman year and just a, a good talent. And she can do everything from shoot sure to rebound and play defense. Ball blocked there. Finds there to get it back. And up top it goes to Babington. Sophie Babington now with it. Stolen by Harmon. And Harmon, it's just going to be an easy layup on the other end for Harmon on another steal. Miley Harmon. Gets her 10. 10 in the game. I think she wanted the plaque. She did say that. <laughs> she did. Clarion. And we'll have a timeout taken here by Clarion. 30 Quick 30-second timeout. Second time I want to let you know, Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning is our timeout sponsor. If you need to get your heating, plumbing, or AC back on, call Gatesman, 782-3280. That's 782-3280. Rocking and rolling here at uh, Clarion's Tip and Gym. We haven't had the dance cam in a while. We'll have to get that back. I hear Kim Constantino is going to dance a That's little bit. That's right. She's right behind us. And I will tell you this. Kim was a year behind me. She was uh, at, at Cochranton. So she gradu I graduated in 87. She graduated in 88. And at the dances, she used to cut a rug. I mean, I'm telling you right now. See, she's mad at you. She could dance. You're letting her secrets out there. Yeah. Maybe we'll see it today. <laughs> we did. You never know. All right. Here we go. Back to action. 19-5. Red Bank leading here. Underneath Klein shot, good. Klein picks up point Klein. number four. On the other end, here's Bond. To the left side. Driving Harmon. Up top. Shots on the way by Hagen is off the mark. And there's uh, Gia Babington with the rebound. Alston has, they're going to get the foul here. I'd say Addy Bond got a little bit of the hand, so they're going to call that foul. 
First foul, or be what, the, the third? Foul two. two. Okay. If they had already added it on or not. If Clarion can get Red Bank to get up to that 5,000 and make it to the foul line, that'll tremendously help. help them out. Gia Babington up top. Right side, that's uh, Sophie Babington. Finds Alston. Left side, oh, almost threw it out of bounds. Good job by Gia to hold on to that. In the corner to Alston. Cross court. Shot on the way by Babington is off the mark. No good. There's Harmon with the rebound. Harmon quickly down. Hagen shot. Good. Good pass from Harmon. Good shot Madison by Bond. Bond there. Addison Bond, six in the ball game. Drive in the lane. Tried to dump it in. It's going to go out of bounds. So we'll go to uh, Red Bank here. Twenty-one seven the score now as Red Bank leads. You can tell Clarion's looking to see where Harmon's gonna go if they can stop her. Harmon shots off the mark, comes out. Good rebound that time by Sophie Babington. Babington has it tipped. There's Alston. Underneath. Finds Klein shot. Good. Good look. Good play. Marley Klein with the basket. Gives her six in the game. 12 point lead for the Lady Bulldogs. Underneath, good look by Harmon. It goes off a of bond and out of bounds. Clarion gets it back. Media timeout. And we'll take a break here. 3.57 to go here in quarter number two. 21 9, our score. Red Bank leads here in game number two. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops. It's all right here on the EYT Media Network. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? Back here at Tippett Gymnasium, having a good old time here tonight. 21-9, though, Red Bank leads here in game number two, and we'll see who will move on to take on Carn City. And it's still early on, you know, Clarion, a few shots can catch up there. Bring it back to anybody's game. It sure can. And like you said, too, if they can get them into some foul trouble, too, uh, pick up that fifth foul. Absolutely. to right side. Gia Babington controls, driving, tried to pass off in the lane, and Harmon's there to take it away. Lost it out of bounds, though. Red Bank's defense is just doing a really great job of pushing Clarion beyond the, the college three-point lines. Ball inbounded here. Sophie Babington will control back to Alston. Klein. Klein is going to travel. She got, picked up that dribble, and then took a couple steps. Now, in the NBA, that would be celebrated as a wonderful play. Absolutely, it wouldn't be called. <laughs> They're also about 7'5". Yeah, but I don't know if that's real basketball anymore. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. There's uh, Red Bank with it. Work the ball here. Up top, Bond, uh, Harmon. Comes it in. Klein's going to get called for the foul. Right idea by Klein, but just got a little too much a bond that time. Checking in for Clarion here will be uh, Durish again. Also number three, Marley Klein, her first. She found number one. Harmon inbounds. 
Bond back into Harmon. Finds Izzy Bond. To the right side and then off the fingertips Slip of Carrico. Through the fingers. 3.06 to go here in the second. So Sophie Babington will work it up the court here for the Lady Bobcats. Alston kicks it out. Gia Babington shot on the way. It's off the mark. Ball tipped out of bounds. It will go to Red Bank. It was tipped out that time by Durish. Harmon working it down the court now for the Bulldogs. Bonanno back in the ball game here. Izzy Bonds finds Bonanno. Eddie Bonds. Bond will take that shot. It's off the mark. Klein with the rebound. And the travel is going to be called on Klein. Addie Bond's um, ball work is just tremendous. So it will be Red Bank ball out of bounds. <clears throat> ball comes right in, but up top to Harmon. Harmon spinning around in the paint, puts up that shot. Harmon gets another one. Miley Harmon. 12 for her. A couple free throws in there. Babington kicks it out. Alston with the basketball. Alston driving. Alston out to the corner. Shot by Sophie Babington. It's off the back of the rim. Rebound Klein. Klein underneath. Finds Durish. Durish is fouled, but the shot doesn't go. It was a great look underneath by Klein. Sure was. Durish is going to go up to the line here to shoot a couple. Looking for her first points of the night. Also number five, Elena Carrico. Her first... Team foul number three, Natalie Dorish at the line. First shot off the front of the rim again. Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is our free throw sponsor. That shot no good as well. Fight for the ball taken away by Addie Bond. Here's Bond working it. Bond into the lane. Bond puts up that shot. No good. Ball tipped around. Who's going to get it? Fight for it. And we're going to get the held ball in the land pro possession arrow. Points to Clarion here. It was great work by Clarion getting mm -hmm. back on defense to take away that open lane. Help ball, possession, Clarion. 23-9 the score. Minute 45 to go here in the second. Ball left side, Alston. Ball's tipped in the pavement. It was tipped right to Klein, and Klein with eight now in the ball game. Marley Klein. Lead is back to 12 here for Red Bank underneath. Ball tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay Red Bank ball. Let you know two tomorrow night. You can join us same time, six in uh, about 7.30 for the second. Boys semifinals tomorrow night. Ball in the lane. Harmon takes the shot from the free throw line. It's off the back of the rim. Klein with the rebound. Sophie Babington will work it up the court here for the Lady Bobcats. And foul's going to be called here on uh, Izzy Bond. Foul's on number 23. Either fourth. Her first team foul number four. Flowers going to check in. You can see Clarion on offense getting a little antsy to get to the hoop and score some more. They really just need to kind of run Red Bank around a little bit. Be patient. Ball to the corner. Klein fakes. Back up top to Lauer. Here's Gia Babington. One Almost had it taken down. away. Babington right back at it. Kicks it to the right side. Sophie with the shot from the side. No good. Ball comes out to Lauer. She'll bring it back up top. Babington dumps it in. Klein. Klein puts it up strong in the paint. But it doesn't go. And the ball's going to go to Red Bank Valley. 34 seconds. It was a great look underneath. Yep, it was there, just uh, able to get it to go. Here's Harmon working it up the court here for the Bulldogs. We're going to play for the last shot here, I believe. Looks to be that way.
Harmon. Left side. Bonanno shot doesn't go. Harmon's going to rein that ball back in, takes it up strong. That shot doesn't go. There's Carrico. Carrico dumps it inside. I don't know if that was a shot, but there's the buzzer. 23 11. So 23 11 is where we stand at halftime as Red Bank leads Clarion. And we'll take a quick time out. We're going to come back to the Fun Bank halftime show on the way. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops all here on the EYT Media Network. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there, Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know, Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. US. Best of luck to all our area basketball teams from your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. to 12 series a veteran owned and operated company want to stand out amongst the crowd this is the brand for you they have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers the apparel isn't just designed for the gym it's designed for everyday life whether at work the range or at a family outing 12 series will turn heads find and like 12 series on facebook and instagram Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Rymersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank. There is a difference. All right, back here at Tip and Jam. They got the Ryan dance cam Ryan. going. There's Ryan. They had a young lady on right before. She was really good. She was. She was better than you, Mike. Well, it takes oh, a lot. Oh, they have Roger up there. Oh, Roger's too busy talking. Oh, the kids are dancing, though. There we go. <laughs> We're at the Fun Bank Halftime Show. What do you expect, right? It's got to be fun. It has to be fun. I'd like to see Mike Kilroy shaking, you know, dancing too. We have to get him on that camera. He might be a little too serious to dance. He is pretty serious. Talking about serious, how about uh, the Red Bank Chevrolet stats here? And you can see, well, before that, there we go. That was pretty good. Oh, she's going to dance. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, one more. That's it. Good job, young lady. <laughs> And there we go. See, these kids are too cool to dance. They are too cool. They're just too cool. I think they should get off of their white dancing. Thanks for participating in the dance camps. All right, we'll get serious now. It is the, the uh, Red Bank Chevrolet stats. How do they stack up? Red Bank, obviously, with the lead. Um, Banana with two. Addy Bond with six. 
Izzy Bond with three and Miley Harmon leading with 12. And Miley's also two of two from the foul line, which is all Red Bank has shot so far. Um, for Clarion, you have Klein with eight and Alston with one and Deal with two. And they're also shooting from the foul line, but only making one for four right now, one of four right now. All right, so there you go. Those are the halftime stats. Again, brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. We'll take another quick time out. We're going to come back out to Tip and Jim. Get you set up for third quarter action. We'll see if any changes to those uh, beginning of the game, uh, keys to the game. It's all coming up here in the Fun Bank Halftime Show. It's Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops right here on Explore Clarion D9 Sports. It's the EYT Media Network. So much to protect each day. Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? Are you ready to boost your team spirit? Look no further than shopteamwear.com, your one-stop destination for all your school and team apparel needs. We've got you covered whether you're a diehard fan searching for the latest gear or aiming to fundraise for your team. And here's the best part, you're in control. Choose the products and prices that work for you. Discover the ultimate apparel shopping and fundraising experience at shopteamwear.com. It's time to gear up, fundraise with ease, and make a statement together. Boost your team spirit, empower your community. Shopteamwear.com, where passion meets fashion. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our retirement income evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. All right, back here at uh, Tip and Jim. We're in the Fun Bank Halftime.
So Addison Bond, Carrico, Izzy Bond, Harmon. It'll be Klein, Alston, Sophie Babington, Gia Babington, and Durish. Bond will inbound here, and here we go. Harmon with the basketball. Left side, Bond driving, kicks it out to the right side. Carrico with the shot on the way, no good. Klein comes down with a good rebound. Tell you what, for Clarion, a couple possessions. You go down, get a couple quick baskets, put a run on. And you can tell they came back out and they're ready to go. Here's Klein, shot in the paint by Klein. It's off the back of the room. Got her own rebound, though. Puts it back, it's no good. Fighting for the ball, got her own rebound again. And we get a timeout taken by Coach Heater. This will be, I'm sure, just a 30-second timeout. So Good time to call it before you yeah, get into sure any is. trouble underneath. But what a nice job by Klein underneath in the boards fighting. You see a little bit of feistiness there to Clarion coming out here. Absolutely. They they want to come out and make this a different game than it is. Yep. You wonder what Coach Heater said to them in there at halftime, too. Absolutely. So this timeout, that's, those 30 seconds go pretty fast. Tomorrow night, 6 and 7.30 again. We'll be right back here Saturday night. The championships. Ball comes right into Alston. Ball to the corner underneath. Alston spins around. Alston takes it strong to the hole. It doesn't go. Tipped around. Harmon rips it down. I think we're going to get, yep, we're going to get a held ball. And the Land Pro possession arrow points to Clarion. Ball, possession, Clarion. Ball comes right into Alston. Put back is good. Oh, it doesn't. Alston got her own rebound, put it up. No good. And the ball is going to go out of bounds, and I believe Clarion's going to get it right back. Bond was on that end line and then able to rein that ball in. It's a good start for them, you know, keeping it on their half mm -hmm. right now. Nobody has scored here with about a minute gone in the quarter. Sophie Babington on the right side. Ball underneath Alston. Kicks it stolen away by Carrico. Carrico into the paint to Harmon. Harmon around defenders. Shot. Good. She did a little jump stop. Right through the defenders. Babington needs help. Got it from Gia. Here's Gia working the ball. Pressure put on by Red Bank. Ball kicked ahead. Alston. Alston driving. Tried to dump it into the paint. Taken away. It was tipped by Bond, and Bonanno was there to take it. Here's Harmon. Left side. Addie Bond. And we're going to have a foul called up top here before the shot. So 25-11 Red Bank here with 6.30 to go in this Penn State Dubois third. Number 10, Sophia Babington, her first team foul, number one. Izzy Bond to inbound. It was right in the paint, but Alston was there. So Alston getting the steal. Ball at the free throw line. Klein turns around, takes that shot. It's off the mark. Here's Harmon now with the basketball coming the other way. Izzy Bond, down to uh, Bonanno, back up top, Carrico, and into the hands of Addy Bond. Red Bank's quick ball movement, just looking for the next place always. And right into Harmon, and how about that? Harmon now with 16. <laughs> 16 point lead two now for Clarion, or for Red Bank. Clarion with that basketball, ball to the left side. Down to the corner, shot shot by Sophie Babington's off the mark. They're going to get uh, Klein for coming over the back here. So Red Bank will get the ball. Deal will check in here for Klein. I'm going to bring her out for a little bit, not let her get in foul trouble early on. In the Harmon takes her time across uh, half court here, across that big Golden Eagle. Harmon looking for, seems somewhere to go, dumps it into Bonanno. Back up top, Izzy Bond, three-pointer, no good. Rebound underneath by Sophie Babington. Clarion has yet to score here in this third quarter. 
Ball into Durish underneath. And a foul's going to be called. They're going to get Izzy Bond here swatting the deal. Deal's going to go to the line to shoot a few. It's a great look underneath and got her to the line. So Olivia Deal at the line. Deal's first shot is off the mark. One shot remaining. One more here for Deal. Shot by Deal on the way. That one's good. So Claren gets her first point. Stolen, though. Durish has it blocked that time by Bond. Here comes Harmon. And they're going to say a little too much push in there. Alston on Harmon that Last time down the sideline. Taylor Alston, her third. Team number three. That'll be number three here on Clarion. Lauer gets that to check in. Dumped into Bonanno. Shot by Bonanno's no good. And there's Alston with the uh, rebound. She's going to take it right down the court. Going strong. Puts up that shot. She's fouled. Shot doesn't go, but Alston will go to the line. It was great rebound and great work down the court. Yep, she was going to go. She was not going to be denied. Foul center number 23, Isabel Bond, her third. Team foul number two. Taylor Alston at the line for Clary and Trump. Two shots. First shot is good. Lauer must be checking in for Alston, so she has to wait. Shot is up and good. So I'm coming in. See, when I played, if I knew there was someone coming in, if I was free throw shooting, I'd miss it. <laughs> so I could stay in longer. <laughs> you wanted to be there just a you know, little bit All the time. Who, who doesn't? Is that your excuse for missing shots? Mm, some, sometimes. Okay. Here's Harmon. Quickly across the timeline, Harmon into the paint. Harmon kicks it back out, but we're going to have a travel here called on Addie Bond. Took off a little too soon. 13-point lead here for Red Bank, 30 to go here in this third quarter. You see the speed from Harmon coming down, and it makes it look like she's just going straight to the hoop. But I think she has eyes on the back of her head. Mm. She just passes it to the open person without even knowing. And the movement's so smooth, too. Absolutely. And travel called here on uh, Sophie Babington. Kind of slid a little bit, it looked like. I haven't seen as much this year. They always had those things for your shoes coming on the court, and I don't see those on the sidelines this year. I don't know about this game, but North Clarion had one in the first game because I yep. accidentally stepped on it. Oh, did you? You were stuck there for a while. <laughs> I was. <laughs> my shoe wanted to stay, and my body did not. Well, now your shoes are nice and clean. They are. Here's Harmon. Dumps it underneath Bonanno. Takes the dribble. Puts up the shot. No good. Bonanno fighting for it. Ripped down, though, by Deal. See, Bonanno was careful there not to get the reaching call. Babington, Sophie hands it off to Gia. Babington comes up top, corner. Sophie Babington driving, puts up the shot on the paint, and it goes. Those are her first points. Sophia Babington. Quickly, here comes Bond the other way. Bond puts up the shot, and it goes. Bond was racing down. That's Addison, Addison Bond. Bond. 29-16. Quick back and forth game both ways right now. Next time out, we'll have that media timeout. Ball up top, taken. Babington driving in. Shots off the mark. Tipped around. Rebound is by Carrico. Harmon to the left side. Up top. Underneath it goes. Spinning around. Shot in the paint is good again by Addison Bond. Addison How about Bond. 10 for her? She's doing some great work down under with a sure nice spin. Is. Gia Babington on the backside. Klein. It's up that shot. We get the foul called. Klein's going to go to the line here to shoot a couple free throws. And we're going to have a media timeout coming up. With 2.47 to go here in the Foul third, and two. we'll take a timeout here. 31 16 as we'll take out. that media timeout. We'll be right back with more for you after this. It's Laurel Lock Clinic Hoops. It's the KSAC Championships right here on the EYT Media Network. 
Brookville Equipment has always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. All right, back at Tippin Gymnasium, we have our video time out here in the third. 2.47 to go, and uh, Red Bank leads it here by a score of 31-16. Two shots here coming up for Marley Klein. Marley Klein in the line for Clarion. Show two shots. First one, good. Nice job by her again. Um, Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is our sponsor for the line. Second shot, well, good as well. Nice job by her. Ten points in the ball game. Great for Clarion to come up and be two of two for that one. Thirteen point lead. Harmon foul is going to be called. Let's see what the foul is here. Clarion will take it out of bounds. Foul number four, Taylor Alston, that's her fourth. Team foul number four. So Alston with the foul ball dumped in here. And a travel is going to be called on Bond. Even with the lead that Red Bank has right now, they're not just like goofing off and making dumb mistakes. They're coming out serious, strong, mm -hmm. and ready to play. Well, they're only down by 13. Absolutely. You know, start stringing together a few shots. I do like the fact that they're not forcing some crazy shots either. Right. Especially right now when you could. Sophie Babington driving into the lane. Babington tried to dump it off. They're going to get a held ball. Boy, good fight between uh, Durish and Carrico, but that Lampro possession, possession arrow Redbank. gives it to Red Bank. So here we go. Harmon across the line. Pumps it in. Bond wide open. Shot good. That was good. a great cut and roll by her. So Bonanno picking up the points. Lauer. Underneath it. Nice pass to Klein. Klein shot good. That was a nice job by those two. Marley Klein. It's great to see somebody that has the height that Klein does and nice and strong underneath. Bond shots off the mark. She's going to get her own rebound. Coach Edsman says that's a good thing you did that. Underneath, Carrico puts up the shot good. That was a good hustle by Bond and the Carrico. Carrico's first two of the ball game. 35-20, Red Bank here leading uh, with about a minute 29 to go here in the third. Shots on the way. It's off the back of the rim. No good that time by Lauer. Gia Babington now. Underneath, wide open is Durish. Shots no good. Fight for the basketball. Who's going to get it? It's Red Bank. Carrico came up with it. Ball's tipped to the middle. Here's the steal. Lauer comes the other way. Lauer underneath the Klein. Klein spins around. Shot. Klein. Good. That was Boy. a nice look by Klein. Wow. Klein looks good here. That's 14 for her. Molly Klein. One minute remaining in the third quarter. See Red Bank slowing it down, ready to relax and try to get that last shot off. Thirty-five twenty-two. Is the score here now with 42 seconds? Addie Bond's going to bring it back out. Around the left side. Lost the ball taken away there by Sophie Babington. So Clarion can play for a shot here, 26 seconds. Drive, dumps it off. 
There's Klein, kicks it back out. Lauer shot from the corner, three-pointer, no good. Rebound underneath by Bonanno. Time here for Red Bank. Here's Harmon. Harmon driving into the lane. Harmon dumps it off, shot by Bond. What good. an awesome pass by Harmon to Bond. You can tell they've done that many times. Two seconds, one second, and uh, there is the buzzer. So we go to quarter number four, 37-22. Red Bank Valley leads Clarion. We'll take a timeout here and go to quarter number four, and you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops, KSAC Championships right here on the EYT Media Network. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. Well, here we go, quarter number four on the uh, docket now. Dubrook is our fourth quarter sponsor. Gia Babington taking it out of bounds right in front of us here at the scores or the broadcast table side. And here we go. Scoreboard is off here at Clarion. Not sure what happened there. But we still have everything here. We're all right. The ball's going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll stay. They can't get the music involved. off and the scoreboards are Everything's off. off, yeah. I have to laugh, though, because the song was Where Are My Keys, mm -hmm. and I think it was kind of for you. Well, yeah, that happened <laughs> at Union a few weeks, about a week or two ago. Ball comes in to Klein. It's up that shot. Klein shot no good. And Bonanno comes down with the rebound. Oh, they're getting everything back on again. Drive. Harmon shot good. Took it strong to the Harman. hole. 18 now in the ball game for her. Seven twenty to go here. Sophie Babington. Around the defense. Gia left side. Flower fires the three. It's a deep one and it's off the mark. She was behind that college men's three that time. She was. And I think Again, the coaches, and it's hard. You got to tell. You got to take that step in because you're used to being see that line. Right, and you don't want to take the time to look down, but you just kind of mm -hmm. need to use your peripheral vision to see. And the three lines here: high school is at the top of the key. Women's in college basketball is the one in the middle, then the men's. Ball into uh, Bonanno. Harmon, left side, has the ball tipped, comes out to Adi Bond. Red Bank just taking their time. Coach Edmonds working on things here, and this is uh, good too. You got playoffs coming up, you got a championship game possibly to play on Saturday. Driving, dumps it into the paint. Back up top, Izzy Bond underneath. Shot by Bonanno on the right side is no good. Bonanno got her own rebound. Shot. And uh, puts it up underneath that hoop and hit underneath there. Sophie Babington. Alston underneath the Klein. Klein puts up the shot. Doesn't go. Boy, Klein had a good look that time, too. She's done a nice just job. Just bounced just the wrong way. And Harmon. How smooth is Harmon around the defender to get that basket? That is something she has done since she was just a young girl as a ninth grader. It's something you just you don't really see at the high school level at all. Full time out.
It was fun. And here we go in this one. 41-22 now. Red Bank up. Alston on the right side. Lost that ball in the paint. Picked up by Durish. It's blocked by Bond. And now Harmon. Boy, Harmon down that left side. Kicks it up top to Izzy Bond. Bond shot from the right side. No good. Rebound by Klein. You knew where Harmon, or we knew at least where Harmon mm -hmm. wanted to go. You can see her pointing down to the right side to get her girls over there. Gia Babington works it up here at the top of the key. Alston. Gia Babington on the right side. That's going to be a double dribble. She all there in both hands. Don't see that too, too often. Forty-one twenty-two is where we stand. Addie Bond will work it up the court here for the Lady Bulldogs. Ball dumped into the paint. Harmon shot good. Miley Harmon. Twenty-two for her. Sophie Babington up top. Durish. Shot on the baseline. Gia Babington and Babington's going to nail that one. How about Gia getting her first? Two points. It's a great look, and she had that nice wide open shot. Mm -hmm. 426 to go here in the ball game. Ball dumped into the paint. Alston with the steal. Here's Alston taking it on the other end. Alston's going to take that shot, and Alston gets it. Taylor Alston. Five in the ball game for her. Here's Harmon. Four minutes to go, half the quarter gone. Ball kicked out, Addy Bond driving in. Up top to Bonanno, and now back to Harmon. Harmon. Left side, Izzy Bond on the baseline. Spins, takes the shot, no good. Rebound, Sophie Babington. Here's Babington, right side. Gia shot from the right side. That one's just off the mark that time. Carrier with the rebound. And Harmon will stop as she comes across the timeline and get things set up again. 325 here in this Dubrook fourth quarter here on EYT. KSAC Championships. These are the semifinals. Hey, you see Red Bank has no need to rush anything right now. Can pull it out and set up a little bit. So here we go. Drive to the left side. Bond is going to bring it back up top to Izzy. Izzy will take the shot from the free throw line, and she'll nail that one. Good ball work that time, That's taking a lot ball. of time off the clock that time by Red Bank Valley. And again, that's good time. They're up here in this game, going to come away with the win. But working on that. With playoffs coming up, both of these teams will see action in the playoffs. Media and we'll have our final media timeout here of the night. 45-26 uh, is where the score stands. 2.37 to go here in it. And you're watching uh, Laurel Lye Clinic Hoops right here on EYT. I got some action in the game. Yeah. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Rymersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank. There is a difference. All right, here we go. Final media time out of the Knights. Fourth quarter here, 2.37 to go. Red Bank in control by 19, 45-26. Clarion will inbound here. Hetrick in the ballgame here for Red Bank up top. 
Ball dumped off. Durish shot, and it's good. Good job as Durish gets points there. Her first two of the ball game. You can see Clarion's confidence a little more now on offense, too. Our driving shots off the side of the rim. No good. Rebound by, Bab or by Alston. Here's Alston with it across the timeline. Dumps it ahead here to uh, Gia Babington. Underneath, Klein. Klein puts up the shot. No good. Durish put back. She's going to be fouled here by Harmon. He's going to put Durish up at the line here. A second opportunity from the free throw line tonight. 152 to go here. And again, Northern oh, Pennsylvania like Regional Warner. College is our free throw First. sponsor. First shot by Durish is up and good. Correction, foul on number 24, Miley Harmon. More subs That's coming Norris. in here for Red Bank. For Clarion, show one shot remaining. Shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Izzy Bond. Here's Harmon now. Underneath, stolen away by Alston. Alston flying down the court. Alston is going to be, puts up that shot. No good. It was partially blocked, but Clarion keeps it. Klein on the right side. Back to the corner. Dumps it underneath the Klein. Klein in double team there. Shot taken by Babington from the corner is no good. Alston's going to get that rebound. Gia Babington's driving in. Ball goes off, out of bounds, and it should stay Clarion ball here. Coyle checks in along with uh, Starcher. And it's 16. Ball down in to Klein. Turnaround shot. Gets it to go. Nice job again. By Klein in the paint. She's had a strong night. She has. It brought her to 16 in the game. And she's really strong and coordinated underneath. Harmon up top. And we're going to call the hold up here on uh, Gia Babington. Not any foul trouble on either side here. Uh, one foul piece. See Clarion bringing in four girls. Coming in Bartley, two for Red Bank. Also out there is Hetrick. Hetrick. In the corner is Starcher. Let's kind of bear with us here. Boyle lost it. Picked up here by Gia Babington. Babington is going to be fouled. They're going to get the foul rung up on Addie Hetrick. 40 seconds. Ball is going to be taken out of bounds. That was a good run by Gia. Foul's number 14. The Red Bank with Addie a lot Hattrick of subs in here. Team foul number two. Shirey's in for Clarion. That's Lauer. Dumped underneath, tipped away, taken, and here comes a Hetrick for Red Bank. Driving. Shot taken, partially blocked, I believe, by Lauer. Who else is out there here? We got Deal out there. We also have uh, Bodorf out there as well for Clarion. Want to get everyone's name mentioned. And here we go. Red Bank with the 13 seconds, and this is going to bring us down here to the end of the ball game. Shot taken is off the mark that time. Ball taken away. That's Shirey. Shirey, and that's it. 45-31. Red, Red Bank, a winner here. We'll total things up, and we're going to come back and wrap it up here for our second game tonight. Red Bank will take on Carn City in the championship coming up on Saturday. So we'll take a quick timeout, and uh, we'll get to that Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. You're watching Laurel Lock Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. 
Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. I chose MPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. Are you a therapist who wants to make a difference? Do you want to help children and families who are struggling with serious behavioral problems? MHY Family Services is looking for therapists to join our new multi-systemic therapy psychiatric team. Multi-systemic therapy psychiatric is an evidence-based in-home intensive treatment approach that addresses the multiple factors that contribute to a child's behavioral problems. With this treatment, you could help children and families change their lives for the better. We are looking for passionate therapists to join our team. Apply now and become a part of the supportive and dynamic culture at MHY Family Services. Here we go. It is the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. Red Bank, a winner in game number two. They'll take on Carn City coming up on Saturday. And let's get to our stats brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. Lexus, what do you got? Um, we'll start with Clarion. I have Klein sitting at 16, Alston with five, Sophia Babington with two, Olivia Deal with three, Gia Babington with two, and then Durish with three. Um, from the foul line, they were seven of 12 at 58%. And then for Red Bank, you've Bonanno at four, Addy Bond at 12, Carrico with two, Izzy Bond with five, and last but not least, Miley Harmon sitting at 22, and they shot two foul shots the entire game. They were two of two, so, you know, 100%. Can't complain about that. Nope. Nothing the coach can say about that one. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think Red Bank played the game that they knew how to play. They sure did. And they uh, came out, and then they slowed things down, worked on things they know they're going to have to deal with in the playoffs, and was a nice job by both both teams. And Clarion never Absolutely quit. Absolutely, no. Clarion came out actually very aggressive and quick and fast paced in the second half. So there we go. Our uh, stats again brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. They also have the Red Bank Chevrolet uh, Main Street Sports Show. That's every Thursday on uh, Explore Clarion. Time now for the Hager Paving Player of the Game. Pretty easy to determine that one. I think it was very easy to determine, you know, Miley Harmon. And we knew coming into this that she wanted to work hard to get that plaque. So. I think she did just that. She did do that. So there you go, Miley Harmon, our Hager Paving Player of the Game. And that's going to wrap things up here from Tip and Jim. We'll be back here tomorrow night. More action coming your way. The boys tomorrow night at 6 and also 7.30. So make sure you tune in for that. Carn City, a winner in the first. Red Bank in the second. Lexus, want to thank you for joining me tonight. Fantastic job as always. Look forward to that championship game with you coming up on Saturday. It's always fun. All right, we're going to wrap it up. For uh, Tyler, our engineer to my left, this is Mike Kalinowski bidding, a, bidding you a very pleasant good night here from Tip and Gymnasium. You've been watching Laurel um, Eye Clinic Hoops right here on EYT. We'll see you here again tomorrow night, folks. Have a great day.